The mothers of some babies, often those born prematurely, are unable to provide an adequate supply of milk for their infant. Mother's milk contains bioactive components which provide health benefits for babies unmatched by any commercial formula. Donating your milk will help protect these infants from illnesses and give them the best chance to grow healthy and strong. The female breast will make milk based on a supply equals demand principle. The more you stimulate the breast, the more milk it will produce. This means most mothers are able to provide enough milk for one growing baby and multiples, two or more. Stimulation can be achieved by a baby suckling, hand expression, or using a hospital grade electric breast pump. For the first few weeks after your baby's birth, your breasts will likely overproduce milk as your baby feeds frequently. This is a good time to start pumping once, twice, or three times a day to store and freeze milk for donation. If you don't remove this extra milk, your body will think it is not needed, and your milk production will decrease to meet only the needs of your baby. Here are some strategies to increase your milk supply once your baby is gaining weight. 1. After your baby nurses on both breasts, double pump for an additional 10 minutes a few times each day, preferably starting in the morning when your milk supply is more plentiful. 2. If your baby prefers one breast, let the baby feed from that breast and pump off the milk on the other breast for 10 to 15 minutes as soon as your baby is finished nursing at each feeding. 3. As your baby begins to sleep through the night, and you wake with very heavy breasts, you might choose to pump for 10 to 15 minutes to relieve breast pressure and prevent leaking. The sooner you establish a routine of feeding for your baby and pumping some additional milk, the easier it becomes to satisfy both your baby's requirements and your wish to donate milk. Once you're approved as a donor, the milk bank will call to discuss how many five liter collection kits you'll need to package your frozen milk for shipment. The collection kit will contain packing and shipping instructions, a heavy duty plastic bag to put your frozen bags or containers in, tape to seal the box, and keep frozen stickers for the outside. In addition, you'll need to have the following on hand, a breast pump, a double electric breast pump is fast and convenient, but a single manual pump that you are familiar with is okay too, as long as it extracts the milk for you. A method of sterilizing your breast pump daily, according to the manufacturer's instructions. Breast milk freezer bags, available at your local drugstore. 70% alcohol hand sanitizer to sterilize your hands before pumping. Clean technique pumping is critical to protect vulnerable infants from harmful bacteria and illness. To begin the process, you will need to ensure that your breast pump is clean as per the manufacturer's directions. The parts of the pump that are exposed to the skin and milk need to be washed, rinsed, and sterilized once a day on the days that you pump after each pumping. Depending on the model, you can either sterilize these parts by boiling them for 5 minutes or by placing them on the top shelf of a dishwasher. If you pump more than once a day, you can wash the parts with warm, soapy water and wipe them dry with paper towel. Do not allow the parts to air dry as bacteria can adhere to water droplets left after washing. Finally, the surface area of the pump and tubing should be wiped down once a day with a sterile bleach wipe. It is very important to avoid touching parts of the pump that come into contact with milk after it has been sterilized. Once your container and pump are sterile, you'll need to disinfect your skin surface as well. Clean your hands with 70% alcohol before handling the pump. Next, moisten a Kleenex with breast milk and wipe the nipple, areola, and finally, the breast. Now that your equipment and surface skin are clean, you're ready to pump. As you pump, it's important to keep storage containers clean throughout the process. If you are pumping directly into the storage container that you will be freezing, place the cap on the table facing up. If you are using a separate storage container, make sure the storage container remains closed until you are ready to transfer the milk. Avoid touching the top lid of the container, inside of the cap, or inside the container. Once you have finished pumping into your storage container, 
apply the ID label provided, adding in the date. If you run out of labels, write your name, donor ID number, and date on the container in ink or permanent marker. If you have any questions about the milk you plan to send, have taken a medication, or had illness in your household, please make a note or put an X on the container so that it can be kept at home for your own child or separated at the milk bank. Once your milk is packaged and labeled, it will need to be refrigerated or frozen within 30 minutes. If there is still room in a refrigerated container, you can add to it once within a day. To do this, refrigerate the new milk for 30 minutes. Once chilled, you can add it to the refrigerated milk from earlier that day. Refrigerated milk must be frozen within 24 hours. If you are storing milk in a refrigerator freezer, store it in the back of the freezer and deliver it to the milk bank within three months of the earliest pumping date. If you are storing milk in a deep freeze, it needs to be delivered within six months of the earliest pumping date. When your milk is ready for delivery, call the milk bank to make arrangements for a drop-off or shipping. Thank you for donating this precious gift that will help vulnerable infants have a healthier beginning.